Nice. A little over two hours from Denver and an hour from Colorado Springs is Oilwell Flats, just north of Canyon City. I headed down in my van for a bit of social isolation during COVID-19 and to check out the desert trails at the end of March. The trails are mostly blue rated with a couple of blacks and a couple of greens. In this video, I'll be descending Unconformity and then Fracture. So I climbed up to the top of Unconformity. I climbed up Anticline, which I descended earlier this morning. And I have to say, as a trail, it is by far better climbing. It's quite enjoyable. Climbing trails always suck at the best of times for me. I hate climbing. but. Uh, that was an enjoyable climb, that was good. And then I came up Fire Canyon again, up to the top of Unconformity. Now I'm going to descend it, but my legs blew up on the way, they cramped up. So I'm nursing sore muscles. Eh, this may not be the best, but I'm going to record this coming down, see if there's anything to salvage out of it, and uh, see what Unconformity is like on the descent. Uh, it's pretty breezy. So this is the top of Unconformity. And if you listen to my other videos, you'll know that I'm taking it easy because of uh, COVID-19. And part of my gimbal just fell off. Uh. Let's put that back on. Try again. Uh. Unconformity is wide open at the top. As you can hear with the wind, it can be fairly windswept, but with the descent, it's a nice easy ride down. <laughs> take it easy. There are quite a lot of these rocky outcrops to navigate around at the top. They had a little technical flair. Oh. One gear. Sometimes I think technical fails mostly harder to ride when you're trying to take it easy versus just going all out on them oh, didn't make it I paid for taking the steep way down. <laughs> yeah. And then I went the wrong way. So when you come down, there's two ways. That way. And zigzag round. We can just drop off there. That's what I looked at earlier. That was pretty easy though. Switch back. views are good up here if you can hear me in this wind Unconformity flattens out part way down the descent and in this section it picks up a bit of a rocky nature, adds a little bit of technical spice into your climbs before you start to Ooh. descend again. So parts of Unconformity are flat, which 
I need to take it easy with my legs, but it's, it's not too bad. Well, that's best and fast. As we get into the juniper bushes, the trail gets a little more spicy. It twists and turns, drops and climbs, twists again, drops some more, climbs a little bit, drops yet more, twists. It gets very interesting. Yeah. So now descending for the juniper trees. Descending, rolling through. Rushing through the juniper bushes adds a new sense of speed to your ride, a little bit of thrill factor, along with not knowing what rock is around the next corner. It's a fun descent. Just be ready for those rocks around the next corner. Oop. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. My conformity does continue on, but I'm going to head down fracture. Back to the van. <laughs> Perhaps not that way. Now this is really not much of a drop, but the landing is into a little gully, which could catch your will if you're not careful. Now Rapture is very similar to the lower part of Unconformity. The trail swoops in and out through the juniper trees, winding its way through smooth sections of dirt, rocky little outcrops, hidden technical features, and fast flowy sections. It's a little bit of everything. Ooh. Ooh. Fracture is like somebody took a, a pencil line on a piece of paper, scrunched it up and threw it down on the ground. Twists and turns and goes up and down and it's uh, quite a riot of a ride. Ooh. Oh. You go into some of these corners, a little hot, and you're going to wing it a prayer as to whether your tyres will grip. Ooh. I think I went the wrong way. Just a little kink, I didn't see it here. Right. 
This way. From here, rapture gets fast. Yeah, I didn't too much uh, drop off those there, well, more kind of fell off them. Oh well. This wakes the body up. <laughs> and now, back to the parking lot. And here's my van. Ooh. So that was two rides of oil wells flat. Oil wells flats? OWF. Oils, oils wells flats. I can't say that very well. That was two rides of oil wells flats. Uh, one this morning, one this afternoon, the, the afternoon ride. It kind of did a bit of a reverse of what I did in the morning to see what it was like. And I do have to say that of the two rides, uh, climbing up and to climb was by far more rewarding than descending it. Even though the general grade is down, it's much better a trail climbing. And then descending unconformity and descending rapture. Is it rapture? Ri Hang on, let, let me just double check. I forget the trail names. Do, 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 do. Fracture. That's the one. So descending fracture w were really fun. So that seems to be the opposite of what MTB Project had for like a general ride around here. So my recommendation, if you come to Oil Wells Flats, climb up Anticline, then up uh, Fire Canyon, do Island in the Sky, descend back down climb up Fire Canyon again, then descend Unconformity, and then depending upon where you park, you can continue on Unconformity all the way down uh, um, to pick up the lower lot, or pick up Fracture and go down there. Uh, my recommendation would be Fracture, it's really quite good. And uh, that's it. So, depending upon the video you're looking at. So this is the afternoon video. So if you haven't seen the first one, check out the first video. That'll be in the links at the end. And um, see you on another trail.